Hey everyone, welcome to Technical Voice. In the last video, uh, we have seen that how we can call the PayPal REST APIs using the Postman. In this video, uh, I'll explain about the REST APIs of the subscriptions based payments uh, in PayPal because when uh, the other APIs are pretty much sim uh, similar and simple, but for these, these are also pretty much straightforward. But if you uh, work with the subscriptions base, you will get uh, the idea that how you can call the REST APIs. And uh, so uh, we will also use the same APIs in our application in later videos. But uh, uh, for this, for now, I will just use the REST APIs and show you how you can create the subscription. So before explaining, uh, let me tell you what exactly the recurring payments are. So recurring payments, uh, you can also say that the subscription payments, automatic payments or recurring billing. In simple terms, uh, recurring payments take place when customer, for example, the user authorize the merchant to charge them repeatedly for the goods or services uh, what they are getting so it could be you know a monthly based weekly based or daily based or annually based for example let's take an example of Netflix if I go to the Netflix so what net uh, Netflix does it actually provides you to a platform where you can get some entertainment you can get the different movies so they provide you know uh, some services to you to get some entertainment and watch the movies so for this uh, ser services you need to pay to the Netflix on the monthly basis okay so let's for example I go to the uh, plans so it say that choose your plan let me go to next so these are the plans so it says that uh, these are the monthly prices if you get uh, for the mobile for the basic the standard and the from the premium if you select whatever the plan you you want to select you just select and you authorized uh, the merchant the Netflix to charge you on the monthly basis so uh, instead of paying the amount to the Netflix every time by yourself so Netflix will take the place, uh, take the responsibility to charge you on the monthly basis. Okay. So for example, if I select on the next and select, you know, the payment method, and when I uh, give the, you know, uh, all the information of the cards and everything, every details of my uh, payment method, so Netflix will charge the amount on the monthly basis so this is called the subscription based or the recurring based payments okay so now uh, we will see that how we can uh, create the subscription based things uh, from the PayPal so if I go to the postman so for this you need to understand the three different APIs so you need you must have some product uh, so in our case so for example if we take the example of Netflix so we have uh, the product of the you know the entertainment so if I create the product for example let me name it uh, Netflix movies and what are what are the types so you can select the type if I uh, google it and go to the PayPal REST APIs and let me go to the products and uh, create products so here you can see that every detail of your request body so these are the type so if you want to see different types of the type you can select it for for me it's a service okay so let's say service description you can say uh, movies and blah blah whatever and category so what's the category is, is it the clothing no so let me go to the category so these are all the category so you can select the whatever the category is so for now I'm just 
uh, say that it's a clothing just for the example so any image URL of your service so that's it and if I send a request so it will create a product for me so that's one product so copy the product ID and now you need to create a plan so what's the plan okay so let me go to the create plan and go to the body and here you need to give the product ID so this is the product ID that we get so name of your plan so let me let's say the monthly base uh, you can say the premium plan and the description whatever you have let me set it blah 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 and then the frequency okay so here it comes you need to understand so uh, sometimes different applications gives you the trial period okay where you can uh, say that in the first month we will charge you uh, the half of the amount or we will give you the uh, let's say the 50 percent 20 percent or 100 percent discount so here you need to select that what is the frequency so interval unit is month you can select the day and the uh, also uh, you, you can say a year but we are creating for the monthly basis the tenure type is trial okay so trial means that we will charge uh, only one dollar for you know you can say for the um, first uh, f first first month okay you can also skip it if you don't want to give any trial period then uh, also the next billing cycle is uh, you can say it's also the trial no the second one is the regular so from the first after the first month they will charge you forty four dollars every month okay so this is all about you know uh, when you are creating the plan so the first one the trial period where will they will charge you one uh, dollar and then the forty four dollar every month and here you can select the total cycles so it means that you are uh, uh, total cycle means the 12 cycle only so if you want to select for the lifetime you can select the zero or you can say the 999 okay so you can read about it uh, from the uh, uh, documentation of the rest APIs and also if you have any uh, set of fees for example I, I, I say that uh, for this I would charge the initially payment of this service is 10% but let me uh, say that it is zero okay and now let me create the plan so first we create the product and now we just created the plan so let me copy the this plan ID and now we need to create the subscription okay so the for subscription uh, let me go here and now you need to give the plan ID to create the subscription okay so this is the plan ID and the subscription uh, that the shipping amount whatever it is but let me say that it's zero and it's the subscriber details for example if you have some uh, details of the subscriber what's the name and blah 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 and then you need to also send the start date so this is the start time when it will be started okay so I'm saying that it will start from the you know uh, on the date the, on the 11th month and whatever it is so if you want to start it immediately when user uh, want to just subscribe uh, then you can remove this parameter but if you want that this when user subscribe it will start from a particular date in the future not the past date if you uh, add some past date it will give the error okay so you can say that it is a bad request so you need to give a future valid date so thus the subscription and the PayPal will charge the user uh, from that particular date but I want that the subscription should start immediately when user 
uh, created so let me remove it and send the request so when you will send it invalid request uh, it's say plan ID okay uh, let me remove this and send it again so when you send it this request create a subscription but it's not approved for the user okay it will give you a uh, you know a method or, or sorry uh, you know uh, URL where you can redirect the user so user can subscribe there so let me copy this one and let me open a new private window and paste it here and let's uh, get the account I have if you re recall that we have created some account so view details this is the email this is just a sandbox account and the password was nope nope I forgot uh, let me create it again mm. So we are going to log in. So you will redirect the user uh, with the URL when you get when uh, from the create subscription response. Okay. So now you can say it says that it will charge one dollar for one month because we have a trial period and then forty eight point forty USD for each month for nine 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 installments. Okay. So for for you can if you select that uh, you don't want to show this you can select the zero and it will create for the lifetime okay so if user say that okay that's okay and it's select the details and agree and subscribe it will redirect back to the URL that you have sent in the request I forgot to tell you about it so when you are creating the subscription you need to give the return URL okay so it says example.com so when I subscribe and uh, oh I just cancelled it let me log in it again oh sorry here it is agree and subscribe it will uh, subscribe it and then return to the you know what is saying that okay there is something let me refresh it nope uh, what was the URL let me see and copy it for approval oops okay I think it was logged out So let me continue and agree and subscribe so you can see now it will redirect me to the example.com so it's basically the return URL whatever you have uh, for example when you uh, land on the page where you select the payment or method from the user and then user will redirect to the PayPal and then return to your website so you need to give the return URL cancer URL uh, of your application okay so that's it uh, for the subscription base so if you like the video please like uh, share and subscribe 
so in the next video we will see that how we can integrate in our application so we will create a console application and uh, we will you can use that code everywhere if you want to use in the you know uh, some WPF application in web application or whatever the application you have okay that's it thanks bye bye